Hi, welcome to the Gronix Test Bench. Right now we're going to talk about hooking up a GX booster pump. Our new GX booster pump, which comes in this patented metal housing, splash proof housing, bolts up to the side of the GX 600 and 1000 bracket right here. It also comes with a third wheel, which threads into the bottom of this pump, and the whole unit forms one easily rollable reverse osmosis system. Our GX booster pump will pressurize the membranes in a GX 600 or 1000 to over 150 PSI, doubling the flow, doubling your output RO. So as with any hookup, if this is an existing unit that's already plumbed in, we're going to turn off the incoming water pressure. We're going to open a flush valve. This one's not hooked up, relieving the pressure from the unit, and unplug any electronics around this unit. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out a towel. I'm going to turn the booster pump up and thread in this caster into the rear of the booster pump. The pump comes with vibrational, anti-vibrational feet here. If you want to set it in a remote location, it doesn't need to be bolted on. This can be set somewhere else. These pumps are also available without the chassis for a little less expensive for the budget consumer. Caster threads in real easy. You just turn the upper portion of the caster, it goes right into the bottom of the housing. Very simple. I have this neat little flat wrench. We have them on the website too. And you just give it a little thing, a little tightening. So now all we have to do is bolt the two front tabs here to the GX1000. Now you might want to get a friend to help you with this. I'm going to try to do it by myself today. I do it by myself many days of the week. so. See if I can do it. I'm going to do the back one first, and I'm going to hold the caster underneath, supporting the unit while I pull off the egg corn nut on top. I'm going to leave the washer on the unit because the booster pump comes with another washer, and this way I won't scratch the surface of this bracket. This, so I'm going to hold the unit up, take off the egg corn nut, just like that, supporting the then I bring the pump unit over, just set it on. I put a new washer on, and then thread the egg corn nut back on. Just like that. And screw it up. There we go. And now I'm going to do the same to the other side. I bring the pump a little closer. I'm going to hold the unit, support it up because it's heavy. The whole thing will fall forward. Back out that screw, just like that. Bring the pump in. I'm going to reach around with the stainless steel nut and get it from the back side. I'm just holding the unit up a little bit, threading the nut on the caster. I'm going to use my little wrench and just give it a little twist. And there we go. The booster pump is installed. And you can see the whole thing rolls nice and easy together. It's really tight fit. Looks great.